Quite a few updates have been done in this last stress test. First off, there now exists a raw input patch that actually works without crashing the client, so now we can move the mouse again. Um, the frame rate, as you can see, is fairly good, and if we go to graphics options, you'll see everything is at max, including super sample and high res character textures. Everything is pretty much as high as it goes. And um, you'll notice that I'm in Lion's Arch, and I'm getting an average of 20 FPS in this direction. And um, in the previous stress test, I was getting 10, so performance has doubled since then. Uh, at least at max settings, it has. Um, when moving the camera around, the frame rate tends to dip just a little bit, but really not that much. It usually sticks fairly high. And Lion's Arch, by the way, is the heaviest place in the game. If I were to go to somewhere else, like Divinity's Reach, the frame rate would go much higher. Um, yeah, uh, mouse look works. It didn't work in the last stress test, but it does now because uh, Play on Linux released a build with the correct raw input patch. And um, yeah, as long as the server doesn't kick me out at random, it should work fine. Uh, I'll note that in the last one I had an average of 10 FPS instead of 20 back there, but lowering my settings made it go up to 40 FPS. Now lowering my settings does nothing, so I'm pretty much at 20-ish FPS no matter what I do. And over here you can see it's still at 20 FPS, but if I go into Divinity's Reach, I suspect things will change quite a bit. really poor here. I'll be interested to see what the wine guys can do about performance because uh, it's not exactly brilliant right now. But, yeah, hmm, team, that's not particularly brilliant. Ah, that's better. 20-ish, 30-ish, Now I was getting an average of just below 20 frames per second down here. Um, I'll be interested to see what it's at now. Oh, that's right, I switched to the button. Uh, yeah. So. What I used to do to check my performance was I'd stand up here. It's not exactly working, and then I'd look up here. And I'd see what the frame rate is, and right now the frame rate is 27 frames per second, uh, with everything at max. When most of this stuff wasn't here, there was no super sampling, there was no post processing or animation, there was no environment options, and the frame rate was more was more like 18 average, and now we're looking at, you know, 22 average, which is you know, considering that we all of the options here is pretty good. If I lower all of the settings to the lowest they'll go, you'll see the performance difference really is negligible. It, it goes up to about 40-ish, so it is about twice as fast, but look at it, it's freaking ugly. <laughs> Subsample to super sample, watch what happens to the frame rate. Pretty much nothing. So, super sample is. My graphics card is very powerful, but the game is definitely CPU bound. FXAA, no change whatsoever. Textures, yeah. Texture seems to be, uh. Well, no, it's back up to 40s now that it's loaded all the textures. So textures isn't really that big a deal either. Environment, high. Now we're looking at lower frame rates because it's adding all these things like flags and stuff that it has to animate. So that's going to lower it quite a bit. Shadows, um, I'm going to leave that for a minute. Shaders, high. Uh, this adds, I don't know, it's some sort of a, it looks like a bug to be honest, this, this sort of a, it looks like the light is bouncing off it just to, uh, if 
I lower it, then it looks absolutely ugly. But if I raise it a little bit, that looks good. Medium looks very, very good. I think I might just leave it at medium. If I stick it to high, then you get this sort of like little, um, uh, oh man, what's the, the specular, I think it's called? Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, Post-processing high, and now we're still really high, nearing 30 FPS. And I'm sure the performance will improve quite a lot too, because it's, it's currently at about 30% of Windows systems. So yeah, it'll probably improve to about 60, 70, or maybe even 100, because Guild Wars itself ran, runs faster on Linux than it does on Windows, so Guild Wars 2 will probably increase over time to that level as well. Animation high, it's not like there's a big difference there. Now, the two that really matter are shadows and reflections. Now watch, it's going to go from... what was it? Okay, 26. Watch what happens when I enable Ultra Shadows. Okay, now it's down to 23, so not that big a deal, a couple frames per second. For decent shadows, it's worth it. It's the reflections that really, really suck. If I set reflections to terrain and sky, not a big deal. If I set it to all, you're going to lose a few FPS, but there's nothing reflecting in this actual scene, so I guess that kind of defeats the point. And high-res textures. Yeah. Anyway, point is, you're hanging around 24 frames per second, that's more than enough. Um, you know, 15 frames per second is playable, 30 FPS is completely smooth. This looks... Uh, okay, now that I started moving it, it slowed down a bit, but um, nonetheless, for a good-looking game like this, it's pretty good. And no graphical bugs whatsoever. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't have enough energy. Let's see what it looks like when you're um, looking at a larger area, because I noticed in the previous stress test there was a massive difference based on the amount of polygons looked at. Right now, yeah, performance is pretty dismal, but I think it's still loading stuff. It is still loading stuff. Let's just wait a second. So, when we look at the ground here, we get a nice smooth 40 frames per second. It was faster before, but I guess we didn't even have this kind of, like, options before. If I lower this to subsample, yeah, 5 frames per second over 40, it's not that big a difference, super sample for the win. Um, and if I look out here, with a massive amount of extra polygons, we're now getting 20 frames per second. So once it's loaded stuff into memory, it's pretty good. It is, however, taking quite a while to load it into memory, considering the game is running off of uh, an SSD at the moment. Lastly, I'd like to point out that all the mouse movement thing has been fixed, which makes the game totally playable, which is a big improvement. The... Uh, what's it called? You can't type. If you try to type something, it'll freeze up the game. So that's kind of a down... But anyway, I'm going to uh, play around, test some stuff. Trading post still doesn't work, by the way. Shame. Okay, so I'm back. I hopped onto a different character and bought this longbow, because this guy didn't have any money. And uh, I'm just testing some... Go away, bear testing something out because I was told that you can now manually aim up and down even with the bow, so. There goes an arrow upwards, there goes an arrow less upwards. It actually works. I think you can shoot straight down to... Indeed. <laughs> that is awesome. And 
This is the typing bug. I pressed slash to try and slash sit, but of course that brought up the typing thing, which of course crashes the game. I don't know why, but we'll probably have it fixed before an A-Net can break anything else. So, 